Thousands of people in our state will be able to roll up their sleeves and get the COVID-19 vaccine a little earlier than they had expected. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne joins us now live right outside St. Francis Hospital in Hartford with more details on this faster timeline. So Roger, who will be able to get the shot next? Yeah, good morning, Nicole. That's what's so exciting. If everything goes according to plan, tens of thousands of people, including a whole lot of essential workers and people over the age of 75 will be able to get their first shots by the end of next month. These recipients are considered part of Connecticut's 1B group. It includes all first responders, teachers, child care workers, food and agricultural employees, correctional staff, public transit workers, postal workers, grocery store staff, manufacturing workers, and anyone over the age of 75. The governor wants the entire group to have the ability to receive their first COVID-19 vaccine before February 1st. Registration is fairly straightforward. Your employer will upload a list of employees who fit the criteria, and then you'll be able to schedule an appointment online. The governor believes vaccinating educators in particular will make a big impact, and a local high school math teacher we spoke with says getting the shots will allow everyone at her school to breathe a lot easier going forward. I really felt like our administrators almost were, we were joking were the grim reapers because if they walked by, we were like, are they coming to are they coming to inform us that someone's on quarantine or now, the big question that a lot of people have is why is this timeline moving faster than anticipated? Well, perhaps the biggest reason, the number one reason is, of course, that two different COVID-19 vaccines now have the green light, including the Moderna vaccine, which, by the way, the first shipment of the Moderna vaccine will arrive here at St. Francis Hospital in Hartford later today. Reporting live in Hartford this morning, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.